night like Arabian moon. I mean, days. More often than not, is hotter than hot. In a lot of good ways. Yeah. 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 It's, it's uh, words to that effect. Yeah. So, yeah. We're in Aladdin's world. Who doesn't who doesn't like Aladdin? Look how diverse and immersive this whole marketplace is. Hmm. They, they, they make quite a pair, don't they? <laughs> they do, yeah. The heartless They're both really lanky now. and long faced. We'll He's soon. missing a chin, she's got a heck of a one. So that just hmm. leaves got a really long green chin. Yeah. Like, she looks like a bogey. Like a drooping bogey. Hey, it's Gilbert uh, uh, Godfrey. Godfrey. The girl is more. I saw Aladdin. He was masterpeating. <laughs> I looked for a while and joined in, and then I came to you. That's not bird poo on your shoulder. That's my semen. Who's this broad? See, that actually sounds like something that Gilbert Godfrey might actually say. Yeah, nowadays. <laughs> well, I don't know, because he's. You say these days, but he's always been a bit of a... Because he's a stand-up comedian and he tells lots of dirty jokes. Yeah? Yeah. Does he always speak like that? Yeah. That's crazy! <laughs> uh, maybe he tones it down a little for small talk. His eyes are all slanted. What's wrong with Jafar? Uh, he's just got those type of eyes, hasn't he? No, no, I mean, no, I don't mean like slanted as in Asian. Asian, no, I mean one of his eyes is at an angle. Actually, he's East European, isn't he? But, yeah. No. What are you talking about East European? <laughs> Where is Arabia? It's, you know, it's, it's in the Middle East. Yeah, Middle East. Is that Asia? Yeah. No, I wasn't sure. It's kind of. I <laughs> look at Jazz and she's like, oh, they don't have oh, what dear. I want here. I guess I'll hide in a different marketplace and starve to death. Oh shit! Straight into it. Way! I don't know if you saw that, but we've got a new move called Counter Attack! Fucking awesome. Oh shit! You see? Whoa! That was like some Matrix shit. Um, you know what was on last oh. night? What? Cinderella. Oh yeah. And, um, it's uh, weird going back to it as an adult now, because, um, you know, you watch it as a kid, then as you grow up, you, you know, like with most Disney movies, there's people shit talking it because it's uh, all of its happy endings and everything. But um, it's kind of funny to watch back now, like especially the bit where um, I never knew that she didn't realise she was dancing with a prince. Yeah. Oh yeah. And um, then when she, then when she finds out, I was like, oh, he's gonna come down here and marry the girl, and they're all chucking their clothes on her, and she's just got a look on her face like, ah oh, shit, yeah, I've got my out. I'm gonna get married to the prince. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and she looks high <coughs> as fuck. I mean, she's really dazed. She's like, it's like when a girl. It's just like when a girl, like when it happens to a girl, she's like, ah, oh, I've I've got it made, baby. <laughs> I'm marrying a Yo, prince. Yo, Lofanda, you're never gonna believe what happened. <laughs> oh, already cutscene. Whoa. Oh, look, what a great hiding place. And then she just goes off, sort of singing. It's like she's so dazed by the prospect that she doesn't realise she's like screwing herself over because her yeah. stepmother figures it out. Yeah, I mean, she's been with them like all of her life. She must know. That they're assholes. Well, that they're conniving mm. in that kind of way where if you look if you look the slightest bit happy They'll know. Well, they'll not know, but they'll try and fuck you I'm over anyway. Mm. Like it, Where might I find this? <sighs> It's kind of, it's weird how they make it so horrific. I mean, it is like uh, cuz as a kid I didn't realize how bad it was cuz you you're not as socially conscious, but the bit where like she's uh, all the mouse friends have made her a dress and she's like, "Oh, I can't actually go." And they've secretly been trying to fuck her over by overworking her so she can't get it ready. Yeah. And then um, the stepmother manipulates the stepdaughters into tearing it apart and then they just leave like it's nothing. And it's so horrible. Yeah. You know, for me, you say it's weird just being older and watching that film. Yeah. It's weird for me playing Birth by Sleep. Why? Because you actually don't go to Cinderella World and that. Yeah? Oh, that was sick. Yeah, and it's, uh... The story is tweaked ever so slightly in these games. Oh, yeah. Just to suit the gameplay. Oh, I love this bit coming up. You see that keyhole that was just there? 
Are you gonna unlock it? Yeah, it's just funny how Sora does it. You know in um, you know when the Mummy returns when he like jumps into the scene and goes, "No!" Yeah. It's kind of like that. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Penetration. So what were you saying about the um, plot of Cinderella? Oh well, it goes for all the games in, in Kingdom Hearts games where Sora is like there. The story of the, the Disney story is always the same. But Sora's there, and he's like playing some part. Like sometimes he'll act as a character who, mm -hmm. who he replaces. And whoa, who he replaces in the story of whatever world he's in. Yeah. Um, and sometimes he'll just be on the sidelines, just like I don't know, making a nuisance of himself. And uh, in Birth by Sleep, it's kind of like the same, but it's. You're so on the sidelines. Like, you you shouldn't even be there. Yeah? You know what I mean? Well, can you be a bit more specific? Well, I can't. I don't want to ruin it for you. Well, I'm not going to play Birth by Sleep, am I? Are we? Yeah, we are, yeah. Where, where does it come in the roster? Are we playing it before Kingdom Hearts 2? No. Well, if, if we wanted to play it, um, you know, periodically, or whatever the word is for it, mm -hmm. then... Um, We'd, we'd play that one first. But no, we have to play at least this one first. I don't know when we're going to play Birth by I Sleep. I think Birth by Sleep would go better in between games because... Uh, no, 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 there'll be too many... Because there's already a game we have to do in between one and two. What? Chain of Memories. Oh, but isn't that one a bit... Point Look, I've told you! Like, I've made saves for All that. Right. That'll take literally, like, two episodes at most. So we're just going to watch the cutscenes? Basically, yeah, and do the bosses. Okay. So it won't take that long. And I didn't know you actually finished Chain of Memories because it seemed to be getting a bit arduous. Oh yeah, I've I've completed S Sora's side, and then there's Riku's. I have to do that at one point. Mm. And I've I've done the same there. I've made saves. So if I do end up completing Riku's um, version of that game, then yeah, we'll do that as well. But you know, we'll see. We'll see. I have to get used to the. the the game mode because it's all about cards. Did you know it wasn't actually on PS2 for a while before it was on? Um, I think it was Game Boy Advance. I thought it was uh, PSP. No, it's Game Boy Advance. Okay. You're thinking about Birth by Sleep. That was on PSP. Hmm. So, um, what do you have to? What do you think about Aladdin's world? Because every world in this game sort of has its own quirks. What do you think of this one? It's all right. I prefer the Aladdin's world in the second game. Hmm. Um, this one is a bit. It's a bit tricky to navigate. Like, what, if you know your way around like I do, but it's fine. But if you're, like, new to it and you're trying to find out... Like, that door. That easily could have been a background door, but didn't Yeah, do yeah, there was nothing to indicate you could interact with it. Yeah. <laughs> but it turns out it is a save room. So that's nice. Oh, yeah, green trinity. Oh, I can't do it yet. Okay. So, um, but, yeah, it's, it's got a bunch of places like that. Like, in the Cave of Wonders, it really is a maze. Mm. Really, I mean, it's quite linear, but you have to do stuff to open doors and everything. Right. Is that why you have to but do in that? a way, that's good because it's meant to be quite um, a perilous journey, isn't it? Yeah. Look at this. Oh shit. Maybe we should turn back. Oh no, because we saved carpet. Hmm. Carpet looks really good in the HD version. You can see like every single mark on him. Yeah. Well, he looked really good in the movie, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna save. Um. So. I guess uh, they're tweaking the continuity a bit because isn't carpet meant to come from the Cave of Wonders? Well, at this point, Aladdin's already been there. Oh, okay. He's already been there, and uh, he wants us to come along. All aboard! Or shall we say, all uh, um, carpet. Cause it's not board. It's not made of wooden boards like oh, a yeah. boat would be. Oh no! Carpet, being sucked into the earth's You can asshole. be my wingman anytime. Oh my god, did you see that? He was like, he was struggling a little bit, and then he just like laid back and accepted it. And I was like, <laughs> wow. Really, Aladdin? What the hell? Are you that much of a pussy in Kingdom Hearts games? No, Aladdin's a really good companion in these games, actually. He's, uh. Well, yeah, he, he's, he's, he can do stuff that he wouldn't be. He has a sword out on him at all times, for one thing, which he should do in the movie. It would end a lot of his problems. Hey, hey! Oh yeah, you know how I said it tweaks the story a little bit? Uh-huh. Guess what... Um, guess what Aladdin's first wish is? Uh, I'll give you a clue, it's got something to do with what's happening right now. To defeat the Heartless? To get rid of him, yeah. Oh. 
because they just keep on coming. What about becoming a prince? Hey, he doesn't do that in this. He d what? Well, no, he doesn't because, you know, what are we going to do while he's printing it up? Or are we going to be dancing? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess Men organize the parade. parade. You're gonna love this guy! And he's like, Yay, Prince Ali! That's great, Ali. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's Dan Castaneletta! It is Dan Castaneletta. Yes, it is. Mm. Gan Dan, Dan Castaneletta. The second best actor to ever play the genie. Or the second best, uh, second best version of genie. Yeah, blessed. And um, the one who played him for the most amount of time. Thanks, See, thanks, Zora. He's got a really surf surfboard dude in uh, voice in this game. What did you say, by the way? Just paid yeah, the cave of that's it. He's so he's so snotty about it. I just paid a visit to the Cave of Wonders. When we, oh, yeah. Yesterday, for some reason, we were watching the chimp movies, which um, were a little sporadic. Oh, yeah, Chimps in Space. Yeah, the first one was alright, just for how ridiculous it was. I think the second one was straight to DVD, because it was all ma mainly about like the cockpit chimp, and he's got like this really strong surfer dude accent, and I don't mind a little bit of surfer dude, but just constant surfer dude really grates on you after a while, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, Hey, don't worry about it. Uh, I guess I'll see you there. Do you know who voiced the main chimp dude in the first film? Uh, no. I'll look that up in a minute, but... In the second film, he got replaced by Tom Kenny. And Tom mm. Kenny's cool and all. And yeah. he actually did quite a decent job, but... The fact that you, you could tell it was going to be different... It just put me off for the rest of the film. Mm. And it was weird, like, hearing Tom oh. Kenny going, Ah, oh, you like this dick? Well, you better get over and suck it. <laughs> Did, didn't you say he doesn't become a prince? Yeah. But he is. Oh, I was wrong then. Cappuccino. Oh, isn't it? Oh, he said no thanks. I think I'll put that on hold until we reach Agrabah. So he doesn't become a prince until we go to Y Prince. God, he's, I hate how he's just like spilling the beans. Mm. So these guys just, these guys he's just met. I mean, really? Sora, in the long run, didn't really do anything there, did he? He held him off for a bit, and then Aladdin was like, Oh, fuck this! Genie, help me out, you motherfucker! And then yeah. he came about and helped us. It is a bit strange, because in if this was like... Obviously, I guess they're just trying to skip this stuff just to get the plot moving. This is why it's a bit fan y because everything falls a bit into place a bit too easily. Like, they meet the right people at the right time. But, you know, you have to. But if this were the actual movie, you'd probably... Because when he meets Genie, it's like, I must have hit my head h harder than I thought and everything. And then he sees a talking duck and a talking dog and some guy with ridiculously spiky hair. And he's just like showing it up, spilling, yeah, like you say, spilling the beans. Andy Samberg. That's who voices him. Ah, uh, yeah, he's cool. Yeah. That's weird. He's really gone up in, in the um, charts as for actors. <laughs> oh, God, I hate Genie's face in this game. It never changes. Your line is I'm going to fuck the Genie. Anytime. Yeah. Oh, those are great. If you ever want to see a, a, a good YouTube video, type in... D WHOA! Type in WHOA at .org.eu. No. You got a... What was it? Disney censorship? Didn't see it? Uh, Aladdin Unnec unnecessarily... unnecessarily no, no. Dude, they're all good. But di the Aladdin one is one of my favorites, yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, he tried to get me. And then he FUCKED UP! <laughs> I just thought of a funny one. Basil the Great Mouse Detective. And you know how he's always getting Flavisham's name wrong? Like yeah. he says, Flanahan. Uh, it just like bleeps it out when he says it, and they go, Flavisham, and he just goes, whatever. <laughs> yeah, there is actually a Basil Baker Street one. Oh, okay. So, might yeah. look at that afterwards. Yeah. What is this Thunder guy? I killed you! You stay dead, okay? You stay dead. These um, walking, talking pots are kind of Winnie the Poohish, aren't they? Like yeah. heffalumps and uh, oh yeah, they absolutely they look just like the parts from he from heffalumps and noodles. Yeah. Oh shit, died. It was inter It must have been really great back then to see stuff like that because we didn't have the internet. There weren't wasn't a lot a whole lot of surreal crazy stuff going about. So you know, Alice in Wonderland and the heffalumps and woozle, just seeing crazy sh stuff like that must have been really great. Yeah. Now I think we're a bit spoiled. Get over here. Oh no! Damn it. <laughs> 
I didn't want to do that. Okay, now this is a bit of a puzzle, and I sometimes forget what I'm supposed to do, but... Let's see. I don't think I will this time. Okay, I have to go through this. So we uh, we finished Evil Dead the other day, didn't we? Oh yeah, the first series. I didn't think it was going to be more than one series, but mm. I'm kind of glad it is. I knew ahead of time. I didn't think it would end on that much of a, you know, cliffhanger. Yeah. Well, not a cliffhanger, but it's you can see how it would easily segue into the next show, can't you? Mm. Oh god, how do I do this? Where is the... We have to find another one of his keyholes. That I don't know if it was the last episode or second to last, but that girl who wanted to be a dentist... Just, she gets a really rough time of it, doesn't she? Well, yeah. It's like I said when we were watching it, the only reason they introduced a new character was they, they needed to go or something. Oh, fucking hell! He keeps healing him. Ah, oh, fuck this. Yeah, they needed people to suffer and they couldn't kill off the main characters. Yeah. They just. Because it wouldn't be Ash vs. the Evil Dead if there wasn't any gore. Mm. Uh, kind of spoilers, but um, I was really surprised that. Um, what was her name? Fisher. Fisher? You know, oh, yeah. The the, the I was really surprised she died because she seemed like she was going to oh, be a, yeah, you one of the main characters. In tears. I wasn't you were almost like, in tears. You were like, oh no. No. Whoa, well, it's just, this? I wanted her to live. Whoa. I didn't know this was her. Like, she, hey. she'd only just become one of the gang. She seemed to have like a good rep repertoire with Ash, and then she bites it in like <laughs> a pretty horrible way. In a way I wasn't expecting. Oh, and yeah, in, a, wasn't in, a, in a way that's good because you want to be surprised by shows, don't you? But at the same time. What? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. You're gonna love this. Guy. <laughs> she comes back as um. Like, you, didn't you say she got more ghetto when she died? Oh, yeah. She became a deadite. And then all of a sudden she was like, Hello, honey buns. You she wanna suck my clit? So she was like, hello, pussies! Yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, but she said pussies. Mm. I sometimes get them mixed up. Mm. What's in here? I've never got this before, I don't think. Dark matter! Ooh! That's a very rare sympathized wall. You see that? Yeah. Like, oh, he turned into Jesus! Maybe I'll land on the floor. Maybe I won't. <laughs> Where? Where is this keyhole? I need this keyhole. <laughs> Sora, damn it, you're Andy Bastard. Yeah, you just need to find. Uh, it's just like in the South Park movie when it said, You need to find the clues. <laughs> ah, get off me! I don't need healing. That's such a stupid enemy. It heals everything, that's all it does. Oh shit, do I have to go this way? I think I do. So it's the medic of the bad guys. Um, yeah. But it works both ways. Guys, get away from me! I don't want to be healed by this. Son of a bitch. Hoya! Hut Oh man, I had a bad case of diarrhea last night. <laughs> okay. And that's not even a joke. To fill in time, I actually did have diarrhea and it was Well I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. Like I woke up like three o'clock at night and I had a bad stomach ache and I thought it was just because I was I don't know, I just thought I had bad gas. I did, but I also had you know, and then some. And some bad shits also. And I went back to sleep, slept for about an hour, woke up again, still had a bad tummy- Oh, there it is. Bad tummy ache. And then, I was like, oh god, I need to go to the toilet! Hmm. And I was like, sit down. <laughs> Where did he even come from there? <laughs> this is how I do it with Kyrie. I just come out of nowhere. She's like, oh, sorry, did you go to the bathroom? No. <laughs> is that dead bitch? No. You scared me. Oh shit, oh, where do I go now? Oh, I have to go up here. Hey, he's got a belly like a bowl full of jelly. Oh, yeah. He looks a bit like that guy from Dragon Ball Z, doesn't he? Um, which guy? You know, the guy who's jet black and wears a turban. Jet black? You mean the guy from Cowboy Bebop? No. Although he's <laughs> oh, cool. He is cool. He's cool because he, spoiler alert, lived. Hmm. That's annoying. I watched all of that. And I liked most of it. I liked all of it, apart from that one bit at the end. Well, a lot of people weren't too keen on the ending. Ah, oh, damn it! I always fucked that up. You're supposed to like jump down like heroically, and then it, and then it activates his cutscene. But I just like it. It activates as soon as you lower your character a little bit from that platform, and there's a there's a little bit of a sheet 
what you can stand on, and you just step onto that. <laughs> Did you love the way he said that? Let Jasmine go! <laughs> I'm serious! From their perspective, it looks like he's scratching his ass. Yeah, he's like, uh, scratching your ass will not save the princess. Oh, so, so he doesn't become a prince. No, he doesn't. He used that wish. Yeah, he used it to save Jasmine. Yeah. I'm sorry, Either that or he doesn't free the genie. Hmm. That'd be a bit, bit of a dick move. Oh and shit, I forgot it's a boss. I bid you all farewell. Attack. <laughs> Peace out, motherfuckers. I'm out of here. So this is a... Oh god. I dislike this. Sometimes I like this boss, sometimes I don't. Hoo-ya! Hoo -ya! Oh shit. Oh shit again. Oh god damn it. Should I just... Uh, uh, uh. Hey, 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 how do you like that, motherfucker? Do they all combine together into a centipede? Yes, they do. Which is a really cool, like, um, boss idea. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, it's running away, like a little pussy. Hoo-ya! Heal! Oh, shit. What now? Hoo-yee! Ah! Stop slashing my bud! I slash a bud all I want, bitch. Oh, it hates when I slash his butt. It's just like really. <coughs> when I try this with women, they don't like it when I slash their butt. <laughs> By slash, I mean. Um, I don't know, exactly what I mean. I get a knife. And just like. out of nowhere. Oh, you have to just thread the needle with that. It's so cool. You have to go. Oh, I have to go right where his butt is. Right in the hole. Ah! Get off me. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh shit, I'm dead. I don't even know what's going on. Okay, die, please. Oh god. No! I died. No. Oh. Yeah. When was the last time you saved? You saved after the puzzle, didn't you? No. What? What are we talking about? Wait, you continue. To... Oh, okay. It gives you continue or load. You don't start from where you saved. Oh, okay. Start from here. Thank you.